Hi, it's Dwayne, your golf pro here at Bayview. We're out on course. I have my little boy Sammy here. He sort of helped me out today. So we've got, um, we've got guest videographer on the phone is Charlotte. So hi, Charlotte. We're getting married. We're not on the seventh hole. We're getting married on the seventh hole later in the year. We're on the fifth hole today. We're going to talk about a downhill shot. Okay. And a couple of new things. We've got a couple of, just checking, no one's coming. We've got a, um, a couple of new products. We've got some Tour Edge exotics in the shop. So come along and try them. It's just one... Uh, basically the best value driver in America. Okay, it's fantastic. It's about $200 cheaper than the um, top of the range drivers and gives us very similar performance. I put one in my bag for this week, so I'll give it a test on Wednesday, maybe, and uh, see how it goes. Anyway, Sammy, hop out of the road, mate, I'm just gonna film here. Okay, so we're gonna do downhill shots today. And right on the fifth, as we know, we get a very downhill shot. Okay, what's gonna happen is the natural thing to do off this downhill lie is to try and lift it in the air. So what happens to most people, they take their stance, they tend to come in, they end up leaning back like this, and they catch the ground behind the ball, okay? So the very first thing to do in this one is to try and match your shoulders to the slope. So what we're going to try and do, we're going to try and feel like we get our setup more down the slope like this, okay? So I'm feeling like I've got probably 70% of weight in my front foot, okay? Now the next thing I do from this one, I move the ball back in my stance. Now the worst thing that happens in this shot is everyone tries to hit the ball very high. So when you're trying to hit a high shot, the natural thing is to lean back into the slope, which makes your club bottom out behind the ball, hit the ground. So what I'm going to do here, okay, I'm going to hit a shot here, I'm going to get my weight on my front foot, I'm going to get set up very much left, so I'm feeling my shoulders down the slope, ball back in my stance, and I'm going to pitch you hitting a shot that goes lower, okay? So from here I've got a wedge into the fifth green, I'm going to think I'm going to hit a nice lower shot, okay? So I've got my setup here, feeling left, and away I go. Now what you'll see, I did the Sergio Garcia follow through there, okay? That's not a bad thing to do. When you're on a severe slope, if you let your weight fall through, okay, that at least ensures you're hitting down on the golf ball because most people tend to fall backwards, okay? So on a down slope, if it's a real slight one, I won't do that, but when I get on a severe one like the fifth, it's okay to have that little set through after because at least that tells, tells me that I'm hitting down on the golf ball and ensuring a very good strike, okay? Hope that helps you golf this week. See you next time.